jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, Batman smelt, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost the wheel, and the Joker got away. Hey everybody, Spider-Kel back again at DC Chess Collection review number 20, Red Robin. Um, now Red Robin, again, is a lot like the Katana um, figure and the Katana character. That it came along and I actually had no idea who Red Robin was. I had no idea about his history, nothing at all. I mean, I came across Red, Red Robin in the Batman Arkham City game, it's the first time I heard of him, and obviously for that you had um, playable characters of Batman, Catwoman, Robin, and Red Robin. And I remember looking at it and thinking, I have no idea who that is. Then we got this piece, and I was obviously very important, but I have no idea who he is. Obviously, thanks to these magazines, I managed to read up and find out that it's Tim Drake. Um, and that's quite a, a, a cool sort of idea. And along the same lines that Dick Grayson left Batman's side after being Robin and make his own persona in Nightwing, uh, Tim Drake seems to have done exactly the same thing. Left Batman's side and became Red Robin and part of the Teen Titans. Which, again, is probably why I had no idea who Red Robin was, because I've never really been a big Teen Titans fan. Never really watched anything to do with it, read anything to do with it. So obviously I would never have come across the name Red Robin um, through that way. But a pretty cool idea. Um, it, from what I've read, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but from what i read, it sounds like Tim Drake might have actually um, left Batman's side quite amicably. Um, whereas Dick Grayson was kind of like getting really annoyed and really, really fed up and kind of threw through Robin's mantle at, at Batman's feet said, you know, screw you and walked off and took on his own persona. Seems from what I've read that uh, Tim Drake here kind of left Batman's side in a quite an amicable way um, to take on this persona. Uh, I, I honestly, it's been a while since I've read this 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 certain magazine, but that's the way it, it came across to me. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and in that way, it's pretty good because then we get the chance to have pretty much all of the Robin characters apart from Jason Todd. Um, on the chessboard you have the Robin that we have at the moment which was Damian Wayne, you have the first Robin which is Dick Grayson as Nightwing, and you have the third Robin which is Tim Drake here as Red Robin. So it's a pretty cool way to be able to get all of the Robin characters on the board. Um, so yeah, on that way it's it's a pretty cool idea. So, um, but when it came to the figure itself, I was actually quite impressed with it. And so we'll move on to it, and we'll talk about that. And here we have the Red Robin piece, which, as you can see, is also a knight. Um, and as I said before, I wasn't too sure who he was, but I do really, really like this figure. Um, a lot of great deal of color, um, a lot of detail. It just really stands, one of those standout pieces on, on the board. Um, and very little about it that I don't like. Um, first of all, with the face, I did kind of have a little bit of a problem with the face at first. There we go. Um, but it's, it's to be honest, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. I wasn't sure about these, like, the, the bits coming off the edge of the mask here, these um, little strands coming down off the edge of the mask, which is how Red Robin looks, so they have to be there, but I wasn't too sure at first. But after looking at it for a little bit, I thought, actually, the, the, they were actually done really well. They're very, very symmetrical. Um, well, as symmetrical as you can get, considering um, that it's all hand painted and that's all hand detail and it's it's a very very good job um, The eyes as well are very straight. Um, I love how you've kind of got a little which side there we are like a little grin on his face um, That's that's really really cool um, The hair as well is really well detailed and uh, really like how it's got that lift at the front Again as Tim Drake has kind of like a spiked um, spiked sort of look to his hair and that's represented pretty well here especially from the top there you can see so that's that's really well made um, and I do really like that it's it's just when I first looked at it I thought at first I wasn't too keen on the mask but when I 
looked at it in a bit more detail, I thought it's actually, it's very well done. Um, the suit itself is, um, it's very, very nice, very well painted. Um, I do love this black with the red and the gold um, all the way through it. It's just a, it's a really nice costume um, and very, very well shown here. And we have the, uh, zoom in there, the Robins, red robin sign on the side. Not on that side though, that's pretty cool. I do like as well how his cape seems to hang uh, between um, his shoulder blades rather than Batman's which would kind of like come from here and this one seems to come from there. Um, that's a really really cool touch. Uh, coming down to the belt down the bottom here again quite nice detail on there. Um, and I just it's it's really nice colouring for this. Um, all the red through black. Um, almost Harley, Quen Harley Quinn-esque um, in the colouring of the red on the black. And I do also really like how we have this piece here sticking out to the side. It seems um, that, that when we have something like this, if it was just laid flat, it doesn't have much movement, doesn't have much life to the figures. Um, if you have something like this where it's almost like it's flowing, it's almost like it's been captured um, mid, like mid floor, and it just gives it that little bit more depth, that bit of a difference on this side, so it's not completely symmetrical, it's not completely um, it's the same all the way through. We have a bit of character and a little bit of uh, definition for this, and it's really, and I love this kind of flocked look on the cape all the way down, almost does look like feathers, um, robin feathers, which is a pretty cool touch. Um, the boots themselves, uh, not much really to say. Nice detailing. Uh, seem to have silver soles. Um, they're not even soles. It's like half of his, the bottom of his boot has been painted silver. Um, whether that's how it's supposed to look, because you can't really see his feet from the magazine. Um, I don't know, but that's pretty nice. It's it's a nicely detailed boot. Um, the one thing I was going to say as well is obviously with the red robin, from what I've seen. Focus. There we go. We do also have Red Robin where he has kind of like almost like a Batman cowl coming from his um, from his tunic there and going all the way around. But I do like how they've gone with this look instead. This is um, this is a much nicer look. Um, it gives you the chance to have a lot more detail um, and a lot more facial and the hair as well, which is a, a really nice touch. Um, considering, again, that this is a figure that I... A character that I didn't know a lot about. Its its figure is incredibly good, and I did. It made me want to find out more about it. To be honest, I, I really like this piece, and I really liked it. And I, I read the magazine, and it's 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 a really really cool story, and it it does. I suppose that's a good thing about these as well. It kind of brings you some some characters that you might not have heard of. It makes you want to research them, and it makes you think, "Wow, I want to." read that story or I want to find out more about that character. So that's another good thing about this chess set, that it brings characters to you like this one for me that I'd never heard of. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, but overall, I, looking through this, trying to find something I don't like, and there isn't anything. I love the colour. I love, I love these um, black kind of, the way this crosses in front of his stomach. That's really cool. There's just so much about it that I like. I just... I think it's a fantastic figure, um, a really good standout, a nice, bright, colourful one that pops on the board, brilliant across the board, it's just, just fantastic, so I really like this one, yeah, really like it. So that's the review everyone, um, hope you enjoyed it, I do intend to come back with one more review before Christmas, um, obviously we're getting closer, it's the 21st at the moment. Um, so I have a couple of days and I'd like to get one more up before Christmas. So look out for that one and until then I will see you all soon. Take care everyone. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Crashing through the roof in a one horse open tree. Busting out I go, laughing all the way.